All right, here we go. We're gonna fix the mud our little patch here. This is a, about the kind of mud you want, or, or amount of mud that you want for the size of a patch. Now, we pulled this mud directly out of the bucket. Five gallon bucket of drywall mud, or uh, it's called joint compound. But we don't want to use this. We want to thin it out a little bit because you cannot use it right out of the bucket. It's too thick. So we're going to add a little bit of water. Just a little. For this, about like that. It's all you need for that little bit of mud that we have. Okay? And we're going to blend it in. Move it back and forth with the uh, edges of the knife until it's nice and smooth. Oh yeah, much better. It'll be easier to work with. It's not as thick. Yeah. All right. All right. Now what we're gonna do? I'm gonna come down here and we're going to add mud right here. So, and lightly go over it to pull some of the mud out from underneath the edge. Alright, now we gotta go to the side. Now we are doing this over a uh, vinyl floor and I suggest that you put down some sort of a drop cloth to protect the floor because uh, the vinyl is easy to clean. If you anything else, carpet, tile, whatever, and you get some of this drywall mud on the carpet or the tile or in the, <laughs> heaven forbid, in the grout joint, then it's uh, not a lot of fun to clean out. So. You know, prevention, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And we're going to finish up the top like so. And like this. Pull up. <coughs> All right. Okay. Pull it out. Nice and easy, not too heavy. If you pull out too much mud, the edges will start to come off. They won't stick. You gotta have some mud behind it to stick. Okay? So we got all that. Now, we'll switch to the bigger knife. And we're going to come across and fill the middle. Smooth out the edge. And like that. Come around here like so. And there we go. We got a couple little goobers in the mud. Which is okay. That's the first coat. That's no big deal. We got the middle filled in pretty good. And uh, tomorrow we'll do another coat. It needs to dry overnight.